Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Ash and my spirit guide's name is Holly, hence the name Holly and Ash. So my angels have been begging me to do this reading for like two weeks <laughs> and I was just too burnt out last week to do it. Uh, but we are gonna get it done this week. So this week's video is channeled message from your angels. My angels really wanted me to do more angel work with you guys. Um, so if you're interested, please stick around. I will be writing channeled letters for you guys. But I want to start off with some angel answers oracles here. And I am going to make some piles for you guys to pick from. Before I do that, I do want to say um, I have considered writing letters like from your angels and writing letters from like your next boyfriend or girlfriend writing letters from from your future spouse your future husband and making them products on my etsy so i could email you a channeled letter from that person as if like they're emailing you the letter does that make sense or even like from your spiritual team uh, so if anybody is interested in that please let me know down in the comments below because I would really like to put that on my Etsy. If you guys are interested, if you guys would buy it, please let me know because I think it would be fun. Uh, I also want to do some of those letters from like, you know, your comfort character and things like that because I have a, an extensive writing background and I think it would be fun <laughs> and I always see them. Um, but I, I did think like, you know, it would be fun to do channel letters for you guys, not just in a video, but like send you the actual letter as like an email. Or maybe eventually send them through the mail. That would be kind of fun. At least in my opinion. At least that's what I think. Alright. So. For pile number one people. What do their angels want to tell them right now? Get a couple for you guys here. Pile number one people. Number two people. What does their angels want them to know? What do their angels want them to know? And don't worry if they're upside down. They're just kind of mixed up in my deck. They're all meant to be the right side up. All right, pile number three. Okay guys, so I'm also going to give you guys some indicators here. So let's do opalite for pile number one, citrine for pile number two, and blue calcite for pile number three. If you guys are interested in any personalized reading, I will say this at the end of every pile as well. My email is down in the description box below. Um, you are free to shoot me an email. Also, if you're feeling generous and want to contribute to the Good Karma Energy Exchange, my Cash App and also my Amazon wishlist are down in the description box below as well. If you would like to donate a deck or to donate a new tripod or a new light, anything to the to these videos if you enjoy watching them, that is very, very welcome. Um, and I will always give you a shout out if you do. It's not necessary though, just, just if you want to. Um, 
And I am going to try to do a live stream this weekend. You, it seems like most people are voting for Sunday, so we'll shoot for Sunday. And um, da, da, da. I guess I should do my you know usual reminder that if these videos are just for fun. They're just for entertainment. If you pick a pile, it does not resonate with you. That is totally okay. You are free to pick another pile or you're free to watch another video. I'm not here to dictate your life. I'm not here to make everything terrible for you. The, this is just for fun. Alrighty guys, if you need some time to pick, please pause the video. But we are going to get started with pile number one. Hello, hello, my pile number one people, whoever picked Opalite. So we do have three cards here, right? Three cards, but we're not going to start with those. We're going to start with your channeled letter. So please give me a second here to kind of get into the energies here. I'm going to see my little prayer. I'm going to you know, surround myself with white light and I am going to call in any messages that your angels may want you to know. pile number one people message from their angels
if I can spell. <laughs> Alrighty. So we have stop getting sidetracked. Keep your eyes on the prize. Everything happening right now is a distraction to what you really need to be working towards. If you're struggling to figure out what to give your attention to, ask yourself if it will be, if it will influence you, affect you, or still hold any real importance within three months? If the answer is yes, then by all means, you know, keep working towards it. <laughs> but if the answer is no, then it's time to move on. It's too easy. It's too easy to allow things to get to you. Trust that we will help guide you through the little things while you work towards the big things. You got this. Keep going, keep moving forward. All right. So they really want you to keep trucking. They really want you to keep going. And they're pretty much just saying like, Hey, everything you're worried about right now, it's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Allow it to work itself out. Allow us to help move things along if need be. Um, but just, just keep doing you, just keep working towards what you need to. We have communicate clearly. Be assertive. And we have forgiveness. Okay. Some of you guys are having issues with a person right now. <laughs> and please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So it's going to apply to some of you, not all of you. Whether it's an ex, a crush, a friend, a family member. Someone needs to communicate clearly to this person in order to convey your feelings. Like maybe they don't understand why you're upset at them, or maybe they don't understand the full story or the situation, or maybe you might just need to get your feelings off your chest. If that is the case. Go ahead and do that. And just kind of know like however they react completely up to them, completely up to them, what they do with that information, right? You cannot control anyone. You cannot control what they do or how they react. And if they react a way you don't like, well, that's their loss, right? They're not going to apologize. They're not going to see things from your side. It has nothing to do with you. So do be aware that it may happen, but it also may not, you know, it may clear things up. So some of you guys are going to have to be a little bit assertive about maybe your feelings, but also do it in a forgiving way, right? Like you don't have to forgive what they did to you. But you can forgive in the sort of way where like you understand that their actions are are theirs and theirs alone. And you can move forward knowing that that was their choice and it is what it is. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to excuse what they did or let it slide, you know. You're definitely allowed to be hurt by people. <laughs> um... Another thing I'm getting is sort of like, for some of you guys, some of you guys need to, if some of you guys are job hunting or searching right now, some of you guys need to forgive maybe like a job or like somebody who screwed you over in the past so you can keep moving forward and just keep applying to jobs, keep communicating clearly in that aspect and be assertive. Really should like show that, you know, you deserve this. You know what you're doing. You're really good at your work. 
and that they would be lucky to have you. Like you, some of you guys need to be really assertive about that. For some of you guys, this is a bit of a mixed message here. We have communicate clearly. I do think some of you guys, like your angels really want you to start communicating with them, start doing some angel work, start talking to them, your spirit guides, and even your ancestors, those will all work. You need to be more assertive towards moving towards your goals and trying to obtain what you want to attain. Okay. So if you've been talking for a while, like, oh, I wish I could do this, or I've always wanted to do this, but you never really do it. You never really take the steps to do it. Now it's time. Get out there. Be assertive about it. Okay. For forgiveness, you might have to forgive somebody who, you know, maybe really hurt you in the past, or you might have to forgive yourself for something. Okay. So there is some healing here that needs to happen, that needs to go on. Obviously, I'm not going to say like, oh, like if somebody was like really horrible and abused, abused you, like you have to forgive them because like they're family or whatever. Like, I don't believe in that. Personally, I don't. It's totally okay if you do. I don't. <laughs> but um, you don't have to forgive and forget. You know what I'm saying? You don't ever have to forget. You can take that and you know, apply it to your own knowledge so that will never happen to you again. Um, that will never be able to happen to your friends because you know all the signs. You'll always be able to protect people. You'll always know what to do from now on in that situation. These are all very, very good things to learn from. Really bad things that can happen in the past. But I also do think, like, forgiveness isn't always forgiveness, right? It's not always like, okay, I forgive them. Sometimes forgiveness is just letting it go. Just letting it go. Because you can't carry that forever, right? You can't carry that hurt and pain forever. Whether it's towards yourself or towards someone else. We always let it go eventually. Sometimes we just let it go faster than others. Actually, yeah. Wait. I want to do this deck. time please spirit oops now they're all wonky A message from their angels why do their angels want that to know you guys have decisions you need to be making right now like or in the near future like big decisions that you guys are really going to have to take some time to think about or meditate on for some of you guys, if you guys are nervous about making big decisions like me, um, use a pendulum. Use a pendulum. Use a pendulum to communicate with your angels or your spirit guides or your ancestors. And what I do with my pendulum is if I want to talk directly to my angels, then I say a little blessing around my pendulum. I imagine it in white light. And then I say, um, you know, may only the being I ask for be able to use this pendulum. And then I say, so-and-so, like my, my angel, are you here? Uh, and it will say yes or no. And then I'll start talking to them, <laughs> but you can do it like that. Um, a pendulum is really, really good. If you don't know what to do, and if you need advice, I use pendulums for so many things. Um, one time I lost my phone and I literally could not find it because it slipped into this weird, weird, um, rip in the couch that I didn't know existed. And I used my pendulum to find it. Um, there's another time where I didn't know which shows to pick for a concert because it was through a lottery system. And so there, you can apply to go to that concert, but it's random. Um, and so I used a pendulum to figure out which ones I should apply to. And I got, I got all the ones I applied to where my friends only got like one or two. Um, so that was really cool. But you can use pendulums for big decisions as well. Big decisions, small decisions. Obviously not every decision, <laughs> but we have clarity, okay? So your guys, your angels are saying that you're going to have clarity very soon. If things have been very confusing, if things have been very wonky, very frustrating, the road isn't quite clear, 
you're gonna receive that very, very soon, okay? Especially because we have observation here. So what your guides really want you to do is that like, you know, we had decision, clarity, observation. They want you to take a step back from everything else going on in your life right now and focus on the big picture, but not too hard, not too hard. Focus on the big picture while also giving yourself enough room to notice things when things start to change, right? Because the closer you get to whatever you're working towards, the more things are going to start falling into place for you. Once those things start falling into place, you're going to have a lot more clarity, but you're going to have to be observant. You're going to have to observe them falling into place. Otherwise you're going to like, just go on by. You're not going to notice it. Okay. And during that time, that's going to really help you make a decision. <laughs> Guys, we have communication again. We have communication twice. Your angels really want you to start working with them. Um, or if you do work with them, they have shit to tell you. Like, if you're like, you know what? Come into meditation, get your pendulum out. Let's talk. Let's have a little chit chat because I have some things to say. If you don't know how to work with your angels, um, and like if you meditate or use a pendulum and it doesn't really seem like they're coming through, I would be more than happy to do a personalized reading for you. We have tea leaves, which is foresight. Okay. So there's a lot about your future. There's a lot about like, you're about to figure out something that's going to happen. You're about to gain foresight. You're about to gain a lot of clarity. Also tea leaf readings might be really good for you if you want to try something, but we also have caution here. Which is funny to me that it's a Ouija board um, and it's caution because Ouija board is also communication, right? It's, it's basically like a pendulum. So this is making me think that like, you know, they might uh, give you a few words of caution. They're probably not trying to scare you. They're probably just going to be like, hey, just let you know, this is going to be really difficult or so-and-so is going to act this way or like this might happen to you. But like, you know, just so you're aware, so it doesn't throw you off. <laughs> There was a time uh, that happened to me, and I thought about this the other day. When I first got into tarot, I would read cards for myself all the time. I don't anymore, but I used to. And there was, you know, one card that kept saying like, oh, somebody's talking behind your back. Somebody's going to stab you in the back. And I thought like, oh, like, no, like everybody in my life is like really, really awesome. And they all love me a lot and this and that. There's no way, like, this has to be, like, a card from, like, maybe I'm carrying this energy from the past. Because at the time, a lot of bad stuff happened to me. Um, so I, I shrugged it off. I didn't believe it. And then, a month later, the person I was living with threw me under the bus, stabbed me in the back, and was talking behind my back. So the cards never lie, guys. The cards never lie. The pendulums don't lie. <laughs> If you get into divination, definitely listen, right? Okay, a message from their angels. There is a king of cups here who, who what? Wait, what? Okay, there's people here. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. I don't know why, like, at first I thought like romance, but the queen of pentacles and death is making me think family. Like, I don't know if you guys are like maybe estranged from your family and you guys want to like, you know, make a family again, or if you guys wanted to make your own family. Or if you guys wanted to find a family or if you guys are going to go live with some family. I'm not sure what it is. But there's three different people here, right? We have the King of Cups. This is somebody who is a masculine figure who is very sweet, gentle, kind. But sometimes, like, you know, they, they still let their emotions get the best of them. They're a little, like, <laughs> you know, they might raise their voice every once in a while. Um, and then we have the Knight of Wands, which is a masculine figure. Um, who is just very loud, very passionate, very quick, very on the go. And the queen of pentacles is like a feminine figure. 
It does not have to be a woman. It could be a man. Like all of these could be women or men. These are just the vibes. Who is very down to earth and is very loving and caring and gentle and like they have their shit together. And with death, we have new beginning. So it is making me think like you guys might have a new family coming in or like maybe these are like random people that are going to make a family with you. Like, you know, sometimes friendships can become like a family. Um, it could be something like that, but you guys have new people coming in for sure. Because I see here in the past, there was a queen of swords, right? There was somebody who was like maybe a little too cold or a little too blunt. And a king is, whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, they came out together. Like, exactly. Holy shit. And they're both upright. Okay, some of you guys, like, I don't know, maybe you don't have accepting parents or, like, maybe your family is, like, not cool with you. <sighs> there's somebody here that just, like, there's, like, a pair of people here that just, like, don't vibe with you. And I feel like they may have really hurt you in the past. Like, their words cut like swords. Maybe they're not very open-minded. I see here that's changing. These people up here are replacing these people. You also have a love offer on the way here with the Page of Cups. So what your angels are saying is like, don't worry because things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get a lot better. It doesn't seem that way right now with temperance in reverse. You can't really see the back and forth that's going on behind the scenes to get you to this place. And maybe you're really stressed out about it. Maybe you're starting to doubt yourself. Maybe you're starting to think this is never gonna work out. It'll work out. Yeah, with the 10 of cups reverse here, there's like a absence of like a happy family going on here, right? And you are having a hard time seeing beyond this. You're having a hard time seeing like, oh, like something better is on the way. Like I'm never going to receive love here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, and it's not, it's even to the point where it's like, it's not even like the universe is trying to hand it to you and you don't see it. It's sort of like the whole entire road is blocked off, right? That's how it seems. It seems like there's not even a road to begin with. Like this is impossible. But that's not true. That's not true. You guys don't have to fight for this. You guys don't have to fight for people to love you. You don't have to make people to love you. You don't have to convince people to love you. It's not like a competition, right? It's not meant to be that way. The universe is saying, like, if you're tired, just leave that behind you. Because the moment you decide to leave it behind you, you're going to be able to get up again. You're going to be able to pull those swords out of yourselves, and you're going to be able to walk. You're going to be able to start to heal, and you're going to be able to find your true family or the people who are genuinely meant to be around you. Because these people are not, right? If they don't make you feel good, they're obviously not meant to be in your life. There's probably a lot of trauma that comes with this, right? Especially with the moon. They're saying it's hard right now, but it is possible to heal from this, to get away from this, to get over this and have a happier life. But even though you're exhausted and they definitely, definitely notice you're exhausted and you can ask them for help with this as well. But even though you're exhausted, they are asking for you to just try a little harder to move towards where you want to be. Because when you start tending to that harvest, when you start watering your plants, then people who are meant for you are going to be attracted to you.
you are going to have a stable home life, a stable family life here with the Ten of Pentacles. Not with maybe your current family, not in your current position, but in your near future. Like, it's really, really close, guys. Like, super, super close. That is why your angels want you to focus on the bigger picture. They want you to focus on getting to where you want to go because it'll fall into place and it will happen. And look here, like there's so much stability here with the Ten of Pentacles. There's so much happiness here. There's people who live together and enjoy living together and they're all stable and they're all happy. This is in your future, guys. They just want you to keep on going, keep doing your best, and hang in there. So I hope that makes sense. And if you guys would like a personalized reading, if you guys need to know, like, you know, something a little bit more personal, or do you, if you want a personal message from your angels, or if you want your own personalized channeled letter from your angels please let me know my emails down in the description box below shoot me an email and i will send you my price list and let me know down below what you guys think if this hit home if you guys are going to if you guys are kind of going through the same thing right now um, maybe also some of you guys can give some advice for um, other people in the comments who may need it um yeah let's support each other in the comments and hopefully hopefully this is something that resolves itself pretty quickly yeah because <laughs> you guys have a lot of good stuff coming Alrighty, guys thank you so much for watching i will see you next week Bye bye hello hello to those of you who picked pile number two which is citrine before we look at your angel oracle cards, we are going to be channeling a letter from your angels. So I'm going to put those aside. I'm going to take a sip of water here real quick, so please excuse me. Alrighty. Now please give me a minute while I call in the energies. Angels for pile number two. What do their angels want them to know? People who pick pile number two. I need words. <laughs> okay, this is very funny, actually.
Alrighty. So this message is very specific and actually kind of funny. And I've never had this type of message before. Um, so they started off by like showing me a visual, like a, a picture of, um, of walking over all of these hills, like these beautiful green grassy hills and like the weather is nice and the sky is blue and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very calming. It's very wonderful, but like also like having the feeling of being like really tired, kind of winded, you know, like, uh, that feeling when you're a kid and you played all day outside and now your legs are kind of sore and you just feel really tired. Like you don't feel super exhausted, but you're kind of like, man, I want to go home. Like, you know, I've had enough of this. Um, so it was kind of like that feeling. So let me read this for you guys. It says, imagine you are trying to find a field of rare flowers, but every hill you walk up, you still cannot find your destination. You may start to think the flowers are a myth and that you wasted all of your time, but in reality, it was right beside you all along. So in the vision, they also showed me kind of like not turning around, but kind of turning to the side. And all of a sudden you just see this huge like field of flowers. Um, and it also kind of showed like, like, let's say the best way I can describe it is sort of like, you know, oh, there's a legend that there's this, these, this field of these very rare wildflowers. And here's this map that is supposed to take you there. And if you follow the map, right, but the map is wrong. The flowers are in the area, but the map is wrong. That's basically what they showed me. So if we continue, we say, you keep searching in a specific direction, expecting it to be there. Then you wonder if it will ever show up. Stop looking at life through tunnel vision. What you want is easily within reach. Just look around you. Don't give up just because you can't see it. Explore other directions, okay? So if anybody else ever watches any of those like treasure hunting shows or history shows, you would know that oftentimes these maps that come with treasure hunting um, are created by people who like usually don't know the full land or like can't remember exactly where it's at. So, like, I'm getting the feeling that your angels really think that, like, you you do have, like, a specific thing in mind, right? There's something you really want to do or achieve or something you've been trying to do or achieve. And it's not working out for you. Uh, or at least you might think it's not working out for you. You might think that it's time to give up. You might think that it's time to move on because, like, you know, you, you cannot see it. You cannot see the road to it. You can't figure out where you're going. You can't figure out what's going to happen. Um, and some of you guys might feel like, oh, like, but I put so much work into this, so I don't understand. It is not going to happen the way you think it is going to happen. It's still going to happen. It's just not going to happen the way you think it's going to happen. So your, your angels are asking for you to like, kind of let go of expectations when it comes to that and allow the universe to bring it to you and just kind of sit back and live in the moment and look around yourself. Okay. Explore other options. Like, is there another way you can achieve it? Is there somebody else you can talk to about it? Is there something you can do to improve something? Is there like a different way you can go about it? So on and so forth. So when it comes to your angel messages, we got trust. Okay. Trust that what you want is going to happen, that everything's going to work out for you, that it is going to happen with your highest good in mind. We have remain positive. Okay. So again, like your angel is just saying like, Hey, you might be feeling really down. You might be feeling like this isn't going to happen for you. You might be feeling like, um, you maybe you wasted your time or like maybe this isn't meant for you because the universe isn't aligning whatever it may be. It's understandable to think things like that, especially if you've been working for really, really hard for a very long time. But it is, it's right within your grasp. It's right there. Like you can almost touch it. Okay. It's sort of like 
if you start climbing these hills looking for the field of flowers, you can start smelling the flowers, but then you don't see them, right? So mm -hmm. you may have even kind of started to notice that there are some things in life that are shifting or moving to sort of fulfill what you want or to create a path, but you don't see the path, right? So you might be thinking like, um, you might be thinking like, well, this is starting to happen. So where is it? You know, <laughs> and then we have not the right time. Okay. So don't get scared. Don't get scared with not the right time with not the right time. It is just saying like, um, the way you're moving right now, if you keep moving forward the way you have been doing the exact same thing, it's not going to happen within the time frame you wanted. I do think it probably would eventually happen, but your angels are saying like, you know, if you don't kind of like stop and like look around and figure out maybe a different way to approach this or something else to do that has to do with this thing, then now is not going to be the right time for you to go. Because uh, it, then it's going to take you a while to figure it out, you know? Then it's going to take you a while to figure it out. All right. What do your angels want you to know right now? a little bit more oh my goodness okay hold on a second these need to be double cleansed because they're acting goofy for pile number two people what do their angels want them to know you have the knowledge you need to get to where you need to go you do you have the knowledge you have the skills you have you have the knowledge of where to look at like the general direction okay but don't don't shoot straight for it because a straight shooting is okay a straight how do i say this a straightly shot arrow does that make sense <laughs> it's been a day um a straightly shot arrow is not going to hit a moving target unless it was shot exactly perfect all right so don't try to find it in that sort of way, okay? You're going to have to have patience with yourself and the universe while you look around and try to figure out where it is you need to go and what you need to do. Because some of you guys might be trying to gain abundance, okay? Or maybe a few of you are like, well, there is a different way I can do this thing, but I need money to do it, or I need a bonus to do it, or this sort of thing needs to align for it to happen. If that is the case, ding, 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 guess what? Your angels are saying like, hey, we know. So we're going to move things around for you, and we're going to help you out, and we're going to bring it to you. But you are going to have to be open, and you are going to have to be accepting of this offer. Also, some of you guys need to save your money a little bit more. Save your money a little bit more, okay? You do have a lot of good luck coming. All right, so you're going to start seeing your luck change, okay? And once this starts happening, that's a sign from your angels. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so times like this is when I love reading tarot and oracle. Boom, baby feathers, which is message. So I want to tell you guys a story. Um, well, yes, this goes with the good luck. It is a message from your angels, <laughs> but, um, I did say that before I saw this card. That's why I got excited, but I want to tell you guys a story. So when I was little, right, I like, I was very, very little. I was like maybe five years old when this happened. I didn't want to go to school. So um, you know, I complained to my mom that the night before I was like, I don't want to go to school. And she said, well, maybe you can pray to your angels and maybe they'll cancel school for you. Like, you know, she was joking. I didn't know anything about like anything back then. Right. So I was just like, okay, I'll pray to my angels then. And guess what? I prayed to my angels 
And that night, I had a dream that I looked out my bedroom window and white feathers that looked just like this were floating down everywhere. There were feathers everywhere. And it was like really beautiful and it was amazing. And I woke up really late the next morning and I looked out my window because the feather dream was so real. It was like, I like, you know, when you're a kid, sometimes you can't tell if it was really a dream or not. So I was like, oh, are the feathers there? So I looked out my window and it had snowed without any warning. We got like maybe 10 inches of snow and it canceled school. <laughs> And every everybody in my family was freaking out because the snow literally came out of nowhere. And we live, like, we live in Colorado, right? So, like, you know when it's going to snow. Like, you can feel it on the air. Even if it's, like, a warm day beforehand, you can just tell. Um, messages are real, okay? So you can ask your angels for a message. You can ask them to help you, and they will send you a message. If you find feathers randomly or if you dream of feathers, that is your message. That is your message, Okay. Um, but ask them for help, ask them for help because they will help you. And that's what they're there for. You're not going to bother them. You're not going to frustrate them. Just ask because their job here is to help you as your spiritual team. With crystal ball here, they are saying that, yes, you are going to gain clarity, but there's going to need to be some movement here. There's going to need to be like some like choices that will lead you to this clarity. Okay. Like this isn't going to happen on its own. You're going to have to kind of look for it. And especially with seeker here. Right. So they're saying like, um, I mean, you could literally use dowsing rods if you want, <laughs> but like your angels are saying like, you're going to have to seek out clarity because it's not where you're looking, right? The way you've been looking isn't giving you the clarity that you want. And it's been very stressful, right? So realistically, what is the logical thing to do? The logical thing to do is going to be seeking clarity somewhere else, right? Things are not working out the exact way you had hoped. That doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It just means this isn't working, right? So remember that. Remember that. All right. Anything else your angels want to let you know? I did not see how that card fell, so there we go. You've been working hard. You've been taking on all of this. You have been struggling. Your angels know this. Your angels see this, and your angels are letting you know. It's almost time to let down all these sticks, right? You've been hauling these everywhere. It's time to let them down. It's almost over. It's almost over. Like you literally only have to walk up the last hill to reach the field of flowers, right? Like you were so close. Ask the people you love for help. This is also a message saying the people around you who love you and adore you are going to help you if you need it. Okay. So even if you can't ask for help, just make yourself seem like you need help. <laughs> if you need help, you know, there is no shame in that. Um, I'm also getting that somebody who has like maybe a crush on you or somebody that has liked you for a while. Um, maybe even like a very close friend is going to reach out to you and see if you need help. Allow people to help you. Allow people to help you. <sighs> because otherwise, it's just going to be too hard on your own. And with the five of wands, I do see that there are going to be a couple of people who are not going to like the direction you're going in and it's going to cause some issues. Okay. So you're going to want a good support system. You're going to have to pull yourself out of your rut. Pull yourself out of your rut because nobody can do it for you. The universe can't do it for you. Your angels can't do it for you. Spirit guides can't do it for you. Your ancestors, your friends, your family, nobody can do it except for you. You need to pull yourself out of your rut. You need to um, try to help yourself out of a depression if you're in one. You need to get yourself out of your cave. You need to start socializing again and putting yourself out there again and start doing things you love again. 
because this is going to help you tremendously. If you stay where you're at right now, nothing's going to change. And that stagnation is probably doing a lot, right? But also still do things in a realistic way here with the Queen of Swords. It's okay to, you know, believe in divine timing, believe that things are going to happen, the universe is going to align, if it's meant to happen, it will. But at the same time, you also have to approach things logically with saying like, okay, but like, if I sit here all day, um, let me give you an example. <laughs> Some of you guys are going to laugh at this. Um, you know, there are some people who really, really, really want to marry uh, K-pop artists. And um, I used to get readings about it all the time. I don't really anymore. And I think it's because I'm no, I'm a very no bullshit kind of reader. But I used to ask them when I would do their readings, like, okay, have you been to Korea? And do you know Korean? And they would always answer no. And I would say, okay, do you have plans to go to Korea? And they would say, maybe one day. Here's the thing. If you've never been to Korea, if you don't know Korean, and you don't have plans to go to Korea in the next year, why do you think you're going to marry a K-pop artist, right? So I'm not saying it's impossible, right? But you need to start start making the steps, okay? Because like, if you're living in the middle of Michigan, in the middle of nowhere, in like a field somewhere, freaking, I don't know. I don't listen to K-pop. Um, what's a K-pop boy? John Cook, right? John Cook is not going to show up on your door. <laughs> like he's not going to show up on your doorstep, right? So, um, start, start moving towards what you want and the universe will move to match it. You are not going to have romance for a little while. Even if this person, oh, I like how they line up like that. Even if this person kind of reaches out to help you, now's not a good time for you to get into a romantic relationship if you're single. Okay, so again, like this is a general reading. It's, you know, some messages are going to apply to some more than others. So if you're already in a romantic relationship, don't worry about it. But if you're not, and if you've been trying really hard to get into one, your angels are saying, now is not a good time. Wait until you move into the next phase of your life. And that will be a better time for you to find love. Anything else? Yeah, boom, baby. Again, like once you get past all this conflict, all of this movement, you have a very long term lover ahead of you. But <laughs> now we're going to start just reiterating everything that I have already said. With the chariot here, it is just like highlighting, like, you are going to have to move forward. You're going to have to move forward for something to happen. You're going to have to move forward in order to see the results you want in your life. If where you're going right now is not working out, take another road, take another direction, okay? That is what's going to help you the best. All right. Um, all righty. So I think that is it for you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think, if this resonated, if this kind of goes with what you've been feeling or experiencing recently. If you guys would like a channeled letter from your specific angels, or if you guys would like any clarity, a clarity reading, please let me know. My email's down in the description box below. I would love to do a reading for you or a channeled letter for you. And um, I hope I hope things go well, guys. I hope everything works out really well. I hope everything is figured out well. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Hello, hello, my pile number three people. Everybody who picked blue citrine or not, not blue citrine. Sorry, blue calcite. <laughs> There's no such thing as blue citrine. Alrighty, let's see what your angels have to say. But before we get into your oracle cards, I do want to do your letter first. And... Okay. So, please give me a moment to connect with the energies. Pile number three. What 
do your angels want to say to you? <sighs> this one's going to be a nice one. Alrighty. You guys had a very long message. So let's read this. We have live your life, go out and have fun, spend your money and know that it will always come back to you. Life is meant to be experienced and enjoyed. Do not let work, school or stress get in the way of that. You are divinely protected. You will get to where you need to go. So relax, let loose, and have fun. A part of learning how to do things is inner child healing. Oh, sorry. A part of learning how to do things like this, right? Like spending your money, uh, is a part of inner child healing. Especially if you grow up, if you grew up in a household that lacked income. Money will come back to you. 
Believe that it will. Trust that it will. All right, as for your cards, we have here, we have <laughs> no need to worry. No need to worry, okay? Because they are going to help you out. They have your back. If, let's say, if there's something that you really, really want to do, if there's something you want to experience, if there's something that you've always wanted to have as a child, go do it. Go get it. Go have it. Because if something were to happen and you really need the money, your angels are going to help you, okay? Money is an energy, right? Money isn't real. We created money. We created the energy of money and our angels can help us obtain that. Our angels can help that flow to us. Okay. So don't worry about it. Um, we do have weight. So if you guys have been working towards something and you're wondering when it's going to happen and you kind of feel like, Oh, like I don't really know what's going to happen or not. It is going to happen, but it is going to happen. Um, very, like far down the road, you know what I'm saying? And that's why the message here is just to like, enjoy the moment, enjoy what you have now and do the things you want now, because you're going to have to reconsider how you spend your time until you reach your goal, until this thing happens, right? Because if you keep doing things the way you're doing, doing them, you're going to get burnt out. You're going to get, you know, frustrated. You're going to get upset. You might quit trying to do whatever you're doing. And you're just going to hate the journey. Okay, we have tea leaves here, which is foresight. So you will gain foresight eventually. However, it's going to be like reading tea leaves, right? So if you read tea leaves, you're not going to get a message straight out, right? You're going to get many different signs and you have to put together the pieces. Um, so as you go down your road, you will gain more and more signs that things are starting to change, that things are starting to happen. But it's not going to be like, oh, it's working out for me or, oh, this is about to happen. You know, it's, they're going to be very small, subtle signs. Okay. If you slow down, if you enjoy the moment, you will be able to notice these more. And it's kind of similar to pile number two. So some of you guys, if you guys were also attracted to pile number two, definitely give that a watch. Um, some of you guys also might really be interested in reading tea leaves, or if you are a tea leaf reader, then your angels are asking for you to connect with them through reading for yourself. So it might be a good time to give yourself another reading. We have candle illumination. Um, so you are going to have to illuminate your own path. You're going to have to bring light into your own path, okay? Especially for those of you who've been feeling really depressed, really down, really isolated, really upset, really in the dark about things. Your path is not going to illuminate on its own. And oftentimes they actually don't, right? Like we always say like, oh, the light at the end of the tunnel. But, you know, to get there, like we have to wander through the dark, right? Light up your own path, okay? So if you are feeling upset right now, miserable, anxious, frustrated, what is going to make you happy right now? What can you do right now to make your life better, to bring more light into your life, to make yourself happier? If you want to like go buy your favorite treat, if you want to go buy the toy that you always wish you had as a kid, if you want to, um, if you've always wanted to be like a painter, go get painting supplies and follow a Bob Ross tutorial, literally anything, anything. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be super expensive. It doesn't have to be super cheap, right? Because the angels have your back. You're going to be on this path for a little while longer. You might as well do a bunch of things that you've always wanted to try um, or get something that you really miss or go out and have fun with your friends or go see that movie or literally whatever it is. Because these things are going to help you illuminate your path. It's going to help you see things around yourself more. And boom, baby, it's going to give you more clarity. And you're going to enjoy your time more, right? You're not going to look back and be like, oh, this was such a bad time in my life. I couldn't do anything. I had to wait so long for this thing to happen. And I was just miserable. You don't want that. You want good memories. Your angels are asking for you to find a way to communicate with them because they want to work with you. They want to help you. Um, 
You can ask for them to leave you signs. You can use a pendulum. You can use, some of you guys might be into scrying or crystal balls. Um, that might be something you're interested in. Also candle scrying, right? Flame scrying. So we have a lot here about um, divination here, especially with the tea leaves. So this might be a good time to get into a new form of divination, um, especially if you are interested in divination or if you already do some sort of divination but want to branch out. Also, some of you guys, if you guys have been wondering or like kind of thinking about like buying some crystals or, um, you know, maybe starting a crystal collecting hobby or getting into crystal healing or Reiki, this is a sign to do it. This is a sign to do it. Um, cause your, your angels really want you to collect, connect with your spirituality during this time. They think it would be really good for you. They think it would be really healthy for you. Oh my goodness, guys. So this deck is not just, not just like um oracle and um divination but tarot came out okay so some of you guys need to start learning tarot on your own um or start doing more tarot readings for yourself okay um so if you already know how to do tarot my suggestion for you is because like while it is fun to watch pick a card readings right Sometimes if we want a specific outcome, our pick a card readings are going to match that energy, right? We're going to pick the card that matches the energy that we're looking for. And sometimes we get told things that we want to hear. Um, and that's how like, you know, a lot of YouTubers like, you know, gain massive followings and keep having people come back and back and back. Because even though it's what they want to hear, it doesn't always happen right? Because it was picked off of the energy that you want, right? Um, and so I'm not saying quit watching pick a card readings. They're fun. Enjoy them. That's what they're there for. If they're helpful, that's amazing. But start reading for yourself. Or if you have like a friend that does tarot, like exchange readings with that person or teach somebody how to read tarot with you so you guys can read for each other. That's always way more fun, right? Um, when you can do it with someone else, but, um, definitely start doing something more on your own, more physical right before your eyes, because this is going to help you a lot more than YouTube videos can. On the bottom, <laughs> we have scrying mirror, which is projection. Okay. So be careful of projection when it comes to, um, taking in spiritual information or advice. You don't want to project a certain outcome, right? You want to remain neutral. Um, but some of you do need to get into more forms, forms of divination because your angels really, really want to talk to you. Um, even just meditation. You can meditate. You can bring yourself into a beautiful, calming place and just ask your angels to come down and talk to you. I, I do that often. Um, and there's like, you know, you can get psychic circle boards. Um, runes. Really anything. Anything they that catches your fancy because you guys definitely definitely need uh to start doing this your angels really really want you to start doing this because they can help you figure out what direction to go in right if things are too dark if you're having a hard time illuminating your own path your angels can help you with that you're not alone that's what they want you to know and for your last card you guys had way more cards than the other piles <laughs> Boom, baby. Again, coin, abundance. So there's a lot about money here. There's a lot about abundance. Know that your money will always come back to you. And it's okay to spend some on yourself. You don't have to go crazy. You know, make sure you have enough money to pay rent, to pay bills, and so on and so forth. But still do the things you want to do. Do the things you love. Let me see how much time you have here. 14. All right, anything else? Pile number threes, angels want them to know. Okay, I didn't see how that came out, so. All right, with the page of swords in reverse, you know you need to look at things through a different light. You need new ideas. You need to figure out how to progress in a different way or um, new passions. And you know that. But you might feel very stuck, very stale, very frustrated. And because of that, these thoughts aren't coming in. These thoughts aren't coming through here with the page of swords in reverse. It happens. It happens, guys. 
the thing is, is that while feeling frustration and feeling upset and feeling lost and feeling overwhelmed and feeling burnt out are part of the human experience, so is having fun. And you are so focused on these big feelings right now with the four cups that you're not realizing that you have a lot of opportunities right now. You have a lot of other things you can do right now. Yes, you're not going to have exactly what you want right now. And that does suck, right? But it's coming, right? It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It's coming. So right now, do other things you can do. Join other things. Make new friends. Like, invest time in what you've always wanted to do. Start that new TV series. Find some new music to listen to. Start that hobby you've always wanted to do. Because, like, your angels feel like you kind of gave up a little bit here with the Seven of Pentacles and Reverse. You kind of gave up trying to grow yourself outside of your goals. And this is very common, and it happens a lot, but they really want to urge you to branch out, to do new things, to, you know, find new passions with the Ace of Wands. Find new passions so you can feel alive again, so you can feel rejuvenated again, so you can feel happy again and excited again. Because, like, the energy I'm getting for you guys is really, like, just, like, exhausted. Right? Like, I feel like you guys are just really exhausted. Some of you guys might feel like you like a lot of balance in your life, or the universe isn't showing up for you, or things aren't really fair right now. And when it comes to the big picture, you're right. You're not wrong about that. You're right. And again, it's just because there's some divine timing at play here, right? So things aren't going to happen the way we had hoped, right? The way that we had wanted to, the way we had worked towards. And it's okay to be disappointed in that. But don't allow that to consume you. Because you guys are very creative. You guys are very warm. You guys are very sunny. You guys need to grow towards the sun again, okay? We have the Queen of Wands here. Um, if you guys have pets, spend a lot of time with your pets, right? Because uh, she does have a cat here. Uh, or maybe um, if you've been thinking about adopting a pet, if you think a pet would be good for you, if you think it would be therapeutic and you would love to take care of something, do it. Definitely do it, especially if you feel like you're ready to do so. Grow plants, if that is something you're interested in. Um, sunflowers are really good flowers to grow because they're really easy. They spread everywhere and um, they don't need too much water and they just grow towards the sun. Like as long as they have sunlight, those things grow everywhere, everywhere, okay? Grow sunflowers. Um, do something interesting. But we also have the lion here, okay? So your angels are saying that you need a little bit more strength here. And to focus on things that are very beautiful in your life, to focus on things that bring you love and joy and compassion and things that inspire you, okay? Work on trying to inspire yourself. Work on um, trying to figure out new projects that will bring in some positive feelings for you. We have the hair of thing here, okay? So if you want to start studying something, if you want to learn something new, or even learn something, um, learn more about something that you already kind of know or have some knowledge about, that would be really good for you right now. Some of you guys, I'm getting that, um, some of you guys need to reconnect with past lives. And so doing like a past life meditation or in getting in contact with somebody who can do that for you uh, will, will help you a lot, okay? Because sometimes getting in touch with that part of ourselves will help ignite creativity in our current lives. And last but not least, we have the Nine of Cups, okay? So even though it might feel like you have nothing, that everything's being taken away from you, that you know, you've been working so hard, you're not really seeing results, you feel exhausted, you feel like you're in the dark, your angels are saying like, pause a moment and look around and recognize that you have a lot of good things right now. And you have the potential to have even more good things. So even though it's not exactly how you had wanted it things to be right now, 
you have a lot of cool things to show off, okay? You might have really good friends that love you. You might have, you know, a stable job where you make enough money right now to um, indulge in yourself a little bit. You might have time to get into uh, other hobbies that you really love. You might have, you know, pets that really love you. You might have amazing art that you can show off, especially artists, guys, writers, um, musicians, bakers, start showing off your creations. Start showing yourself off because I do feel like for some of you guys that might generate some extra income or it just might help lift you up because you're going to get a lot of positive feedback. You're going to have a lot of people who are like, wow, this is amazing. And I do feel like you guys need that encouragement right now. So your angels are saying, like, show yourself off. Be proud of who you are. Even if your life isn't where you wanted it right now, um, that doesn't mean you're a failure. That doesn't mean you're bad at this or that. That doesn't mean you're going to be doomed forever. You're actually doing really, really good in your own way, in your own special way. And so it's time to celebrate yourself. It's time to show off everything you've done so far, all your hard work so far. And it's time to give yourself a pat on the back, and it's time to give yourself a break. And enjoy something and laugh and play and smile. Because that is going to turn your whole attitude around. It's going to help your mental health. It's going to help you feel so much better. It's going to help give you energy again. It's going to help you start growing yourself again. You're going to start realizing that the universe is bringing you more opportunities. Like things are going to, be, going to become really, really positive here, right? Um, others of you, especially those of you who are in divina divination or have wanted to start something with it, start doing readings for other people as well because putting yourself out there in that aspect, like, I feel like would also be really, really positive for you. And I feel like some of you guys would be really good at ta as tarot readers or as rune readers, bone throwers, flame scryers, whatever it is that you are drawn to, and you can help a lot of people. You can help a lot of people, all right? Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please let me know down in the comments what you think, if this connects with you. Also, did you guys also pick pile number two? Because I feel like some of you guys probably did. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.